on this lovely Saturday summer afternoon. We are wrapping up, setting up Lilia and the twins grad party. We are celebrating both Lilia graduating eighth grade and the twins promoting from sixth grade now onto middle school. So Lilia's off to high school, the twins are off to middle school. Oh, it's just so, so, so crazy. Let me show you what we've got set up. It's loud out here. We've got some music playing. We're waiting on people to start showing up, but it turned out just pretty say, cute. let's jump on a bus and take a ride downtown. Well, I don't know about that. Can you help me first to get these boxes down? Well, I don't know about that. We have the whole day now just to ourselves so we can clean the house or clear out some shelves. You said, whichever you feel like doing first, I said, well, I don't know about that. Let's call some friends over for a game of poker or so. I don't know about that Or should I turn on the TV or the radio Well, I don't know about that but There's a whole list full of all the things we can do But I want to do none Wish that you did What's up, fam? Good morning! Uh, Welcome to... Good morning. <laughs> okay, good afternoon. Well, it's 40 minutes after morning, guys. 40 minutes after morning. How dare I? We are about to head to the girls very last dance recital Addie's last dance recital for good Lilia is gonna have a ton of more dance shows she's doing dance at her high school next year she's just taking a break from competitive dance but this is gonna be the last time having both of my girls do dance Lilia's in six dance numbers Addie's in five just got ready we're headed here there's two dance shows today not one but two the first one is at one o'clock second one is at five o'clock little bit of a break in between got here we're gonna go we drop them off we are gonna not run up there we are going to put my ballet shoes on Turn them on. That part. Dad's got the goodies. This time I'ma win it. This time I'ma win it. What's my luck? I wanna get in. Inside your love, inside your love. This time I'ma win it. This time I'ma win it. What's my luck? I wanna get in. Inside your love, inside your love. One one door closes, another one opens, and that has absolutely nothing to do with what I'm about to say, but the kids' passports um, all expired. The only one who doesn't have an expired passport is Lilia because I needed to get one expedited, if you guys know, back in, honey, back in, was that November? I think so. When we went to Hong Kong, I had to go to San Francisco, get one expedited. So anyway, that was because it was expired, but the rest of the kids haven't needed one since then, and it has been on my to-do list to get them renewed. And actually, I say renewed lightly. If anyone is gonna explore this avenue, let me just be the one to let you know because I have done hours of research yes. at this point. You cannot renew a kid's passport. I learned that, okay? You can only apply for a new one. Even if they've had one in the past, until they are 18, you cannot Re renew like as an adult you can renew them anyway you have to go through the process all over again I think it'll be a little bit easier just because they say like bring the old passport if they have one so maybe that makes it a little bit smoother but in general it's not a super fun process but we don't technically they don't technically need one but we do have a cruise planned this summer and so 
hoping that we can get these in time so that you don't technically need a passport for a cruise if you didn't know. As long as it's leaving from and returning to the same port, then you can just use your birth certificate. But I know from experience, it's usually like a little bit longer of a process, like the line's a little bit longer and stuff. So I'm hoping that we can still get it before then. But regardless, this isn't gonna be the last of our travel. So I need to get them their passports. That way we just have them. So I set an appointment weeks ago. Apparently it's, I don't know, for me, it was really hard to get a passport appointment. We finally got one for the remaining children. Oh, your hair looks really good today, bud. Let me see. You're so handsome. <laughs> you look so good. So that is this morning. You have to bring a buku amount of paperwork specifically for my boys. Because I do have sole custody of them, I have to bring like proof of that. Um, otherwise I would have to get their their dads involved, which actually with Lilia, I learned that there is loopholes around that, but that still means that you have to get the dad involved. You have to get them to notarize something and Gabe did all that for her. But for the boys, I have a court order saying that I have sole custody. So I bring that with me. Obviously Addie's dad is coming with me, so that's no issue. Oh, the joys of, no! Chris, my application, our printer sucks. I just printed four applications and our black ink isn't working. Urgh. Okay, I'm gonna reprint that. So anyway, here's the checklist of things that I need for the kids' passports. It says both parents must approve and go with the child to apply in person. Like I said, there are a few exceptions now. Obviously one being a custody order. You need a specific form to fill out, the form that just didn't work for me. It says show relationship to your child. So I need to bring their birth certificate. You and your child may have different last names as long as the document showing your relationship with the child lists your full name. Oh, and I don't know, there's so much information. I just don't want to show up with because if you have like one thing missing they're like nope Sorry, come back again. Try again later, but you're pretty sure you don't I don't think so But now I'm wondering if I need a divorce certificate or a marriage certificate Mommy. from me and dad Mommy, um, I got you a gift. I brought a ton of stuff. Mommy, I got you a gift. What's that? Oh <gasps> Yay, I've been wanting those. Thank you. Can you brush this down? Now there's a bunch of bumps. Son, I'm telling you, you can't do it too tight. You need to learn to do it yourself. I can't see. There. Better? You are so picky. No, I. it's a picture. I have to get it perfect here. We have to do it again. Okay, take it out. I'm gonna go get the form. Wait, never mind. I did it. All right, you guys. This is so crazy. So. For kids, did I already say this? You have to, oh, thank you, Kaisen. You just opened the door for me. We just got home. But, so you have to renew a passport. my picture. You have to get new passports for kids every five years, or as adults, it's every 10 years. So let's do some side by side here. Mine. They're new versus they're old. This was five years ago? This was five years ago. It's actually a little more, 18 years. It's actually six. Old versus new. They're like literal babies in these. Kaisen's old versus his new. Dang, I live like the same. I just look so. way older. Yeah, you're just older. Use your hand jump. And then let's see. Addie's is obviously the biggest difference here because she was a literal baby when she had hers done. I think she just turned two. So there's her old versus her new. That hair though. I should have put her hair in pigtails for good measure. Landon's. He's your hand jump. Him. He kind of looks the same low-key too. Still just as cute. His old versus his new. He had the biggest hair glow up. Well, him and Addy. I wish I would have done her hair cute this morning, but we were just scrambling out that door and it doesn't really matter. So. so happy that we got that checked off of her list. Hopefully it comes in time. But like I said, if not, it's not like too big of a deal. We still we are allowed to, to do it. On with our day. We're immediately back into the thing that she loves most after yesterday. And that is cheer. <laughs> she has cheer practice today. And look at her cute outfit. Oh my gosh. We finally were like going through the process of like giving her dance clothes to some of her dance friends and then updating her wardrobe with cheer stuff. There's like cheer shoes, cheer, yeah. Anyway, we're taking a little break. She actually just had one cheer class and now she has a little bit of a break and then she has another Ooh, one. Private. So we got a little bit of a break before the next one. Lilia just got dropped off actually at her very first dance class with her high school, which she's super excited for. And then the boys are about to head off to soccer. So this is what I meant before the other day when I was saying how it doesn't really feel like much of a break quite yet because we just we have so many things still going on come next week actually come this weekend we are going on vacation <laughs> so exciting. I'm so excited we're in the final planning stages of that and we are going to Disney World Whee! we're only a little excited just a just a little bit no <laughs> just a little bit so excited. So, 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 so excited. More excited than this whole entire world. Oh, me too. We're actually going, we were invited to, this is actually the exact spot that we found out we were invited, remember? Remember we got the email? When oh, we're yeah. Here? Yeah. We get to go premiere Tiana's Bayou Adventure, which is we were, what- We were going to cheer, and then my mom got a, no a notification on her phone. 
Moon. Disney World invited us to Tiana's new ride. Yeah, Tiana's Bayou Adventure. If you're not too into the Disney World, most people do know what Splash Mountain is, and that yeah. has since been closed, and this is the new version of it. I'm of so that. sad <laughs> because because I love Splash Mountain. I know, I did too. But you're gonna love it even more now because now it's the same ride, but it's just a reskin. It's Tiana's Bayou Adventure. So we get to go try it out, test it out, and see how it is right before it opens up to the public. So that's exciting. So make sure you're following us everywhere. I think we are gonna vlog, which we haven't been vlogging a whole lot of Disney content lately. And every yeah. time I go and I don't vlog it, I get comments saying, why didn't you vlog it? We missed Disney vlogs. So since we go to Disneyland so often, I kind of don't vlog it a whole lot these days when I go. I do still make- because we we are very busy. You're very busy. All right. <laughs> yeah. I do still make a lot of Disney content, but usually I keep it to like more short form content like on TikTok and Instagram. But this is such a cool event and we, the whole fam hasn't been to Disney World in years. A long time. A long, long time. Since I was a baby. Like even the boys, I know I've talked like a little. literally. Yeah. Even the boys are really excited and they're not like, well, Landon is super super Disney fanatic but the twins are so excited for it and they are not like Disney crazy like I am but they're yeah. they're so ready they're so they're excited to go to Disney World because there's so many new things however I did hear that um, I've been checking the weather and apparently it's horrid in Florida right now so if you live in Florida comment down below how how bad is it how bad is it because it looks like the weather says it's gonna be 98 degrees with like 80% humidity we're gonna be bringing lots of fans lots of cooling rags and that kind of stuff it's gonna be pretty hot so anyway we've got about nine more minutes until we need to head back in for her class then we had to get back home and I have to finish actually planning all of that because I have some outfits that are coming <laughs> she'll totally have filmed that definitely <laughs> I've got lots of content planned for that trip I'm so excited so excited excited and I just can't hide it oh and we lost her Adi is that my sweater <laughs> I was just running around like a crazy person or running with honey but uh y'all we woke up this morning We've been swimming constantly. I'm, I'm a mess. We've been swimming almost every single day the last week and all of a sudden we woke up this morning and our pool was green. This was my pool six hours ago. Look at already how much different it is. Come here, come here. You wanna come here? Come here, come get your toy. Come get your toy. Come here. Come here. That's her second favorite toy. Oh, oh you got it. Good job. Whoa, how's your knee, dude? Oh God. Pretty much healed. That's good news. He's been taking it easy, but he is back at soccer practice. <laughs> Honey's favorite toy is actually her boys. We picked up flowers for the girls' recital and I gave them to my boys to give to each of the girls. Kyson gave his to Lilia, Hayden gave his to Addie, and Landon gave his to Ayla. It's a nice gesture. It's kind of the thing you do for recital, but now I'm stuck with them. And anyone that knows me knows I don't like flowers. Like I don't like getting flowers. I don't like having to take care of them. I don't know what's wrong with me. Like I am just a different breed of woman, but I can come help. Addie wants to help. So one is mine and this is Julia's. She didn't want her, so she gave it to me. I guess they're both Addie's. Anyway, before they completely die sitting on my counter, they've already been sitting there for a day. Yeah, mom. Do we cut? Don't, oh you. my God, this is such a mess. I think we should cut the ends, right? Don't you cut the ends? I just couldn't not for their, you know, last recital. Well, I, Lily is gonna have more, more than likely. She is just taking a break from competitive and dance. And I'm also gonna have and more. Recitals? Yeah. No, 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 more flowers. Oh, more flowers. I'm I was like, really? More. Oh, okay, so they get more flowers. I'm gonna have more flowers because my competition. Your cheer comps. Oh, these poor things are already. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut them. I feel like we should cut them. I don't really know how to do this. I'm not a plant person. I really should be. You know, one of these days, maybe I'll make it there. But in the meantime, oh, I think you should put some of this food in it. Yeah. I think you put like. Do. Oh, I'm gonna put like some of it. I don't know. Half. No, you put the whole. So we'll see how and long I can put... keep these alive. I think that's good. I think if we put any more in here, they're not gonna, they're gonna like kill each other. Can we make a fit one more? Okay. Can we make a fit one more? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I 
think, I think that's it. This is kind of pushing it for me. She ain't the prettiest thing. We just kind of combined them, but you know, maybe we can bring her back to life. Y'all, I think I messed up. I decided it'd be a good idea to jump on the trampoline with my kids tonight. First of all, if you know, you know. Second of all, I mentioned a few weeks back, I like threw out my back. Well, I have a bulging disc in my back. For some reason recently it like resurfaced. It's been causing me daily pain. Jumping on the trampoline, it's it's definitely not happy, but I'm happy, so that's all that matters. I really just need to go to physical therapy, I think, at this point, because it was, the weird thing is, is it hurt initially when I injured it, and then it went away for a really long time, so I don't know what triggered it to come back. Not that jumping on the trampoline helped, but it's a day, so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.